all of us here, uh, you'd say, you know, people who study Kabbalah actually have a lot in common with Norse spirituality. It's only this modern um, false spirituality, right? That's where we, we distort the truth. So here together, we have so much in common. Out of 24 rooms, half of them are gods and goddesses. And I always say, if, if you don't like goddesses, then you shouldn't be into Norse spirituality because there are very important holidays coming up, especially we get the term Disir means a goddess. It is um, very important. You don't want to miss that. And they distort that with this Chinese New Year. I made the mistake when I was living in Queens, ironically. I forgot about it because of all the Chinese New Year. And then some signs showed me very seriously that you know, you have to focus on your female ancestors because if you go back far enough, they're really supernatural. Think about it. Your furthest ancestor who came from no human being, how is that even possible? And look at the planet itself. And I'm going to start channeling. I'm a Claire Cognizant channel. The planet itself. Look at every continent, all the, all the cities. Look at the distance between things. It's, it's too big for us. We are the elves, or we are the small people of an ancient world. There were giants, for sure. The atmosphere changed, the gravitational field changed, and everything responds to that. We scientifically accept uh, giant reptiles, giant insects, giant plants. But there was a time when even that was covered up and, or considered mythology. I like what people discussed uh, Greek terms. Mythos means what? Mythos, mythology, means truth. Skyden brings you authentic, powerful spirituality. He's a master silversmith and painter, and he craft for you anything you want.